Father Murphy, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Christmas concert. Tonight we present a musical nativity play, Angels Up High, by Father Dennis O'Gorman. We chose this very entertaining version of the Christmas story because of its freshness and humour. The children have enjoyed performing it and we are sure you will appreciate their efforts. The playwright has tried to give a modern slant to the events of long ago to help us identify with its reality and meaning for us today. You'll notice some of the characters in the play wearing modern dress to emphasize the great news of Christmas. Christ was born today. Scene one, Mary's house. <laughs>
ran away. Didn't you hear what happened to him? Looking bad, I hope. When the angel said that I was to have a baby, he just laughed. Since then, he's been unable to speak. Come round the back, he'll be glad to see you.
until Stock broke a belt. I'd say we'd sooner leave them off that. Look at this! Real gold! Frankincense and myrrh! They must be very rich indeed. I wonder where they come from. They look like Eastern to me. Perhaps they come from Persia. It doesn't matter where they come from. Have they paid their taxes? That's what I want to know. We'll find out tomorrow. The pub or the it's in Bethlehem will be closed. Who are those people? They're called tax collectors. Caesar's ordered the whole world to be counted. And they're going to collect the taxes from people. What's the tax? It's something humans invented. They were calling to get their money, and then they give it all back again. I think that's stupid. So do they. Well, now they've started, they can't get out of it. Anyway, I think it's time to move on. Then let me take the star. Leave it alone, it's still my turn. Sake and peace, let her have it. You're all as bad as each other. There you are, clever stick. And you, it's my turn. You can't behave yourself, I'll carry the star. That's that. Let's get you away in, in heaven. Them. 
room can have my room. The others can take Jacob's and yours. In fact, I want the whole staff quarters vacated for their convenience. Hey, that's not fair. I I'm your day. Day. Keep quiet, you fool. It won't matter for just one night. We must keep them happy. If they'll look at our books, we're done for. I haven't paid taxes for years. Now I must go in and see if they are all right. <coughs> well, I blow. So now we've got to sleep outside. <coughs> I'm going to see the end about this. We'll call a meeting next week. First thing on Monday. Oh no, here comes some more. Where will it all end? Excuse me, sir. Have you a spare room for the night? My wife and I have come a very long way. You must be joking. But to stay where There isn't room to move in there.
three wise men outside who want to see you. Tell them to go away. They seem very rich, <laughs> sire. One of them has a bag of gold. Oh. <laughs> then better let them in then. Perhaps they remembered it's my birthday. <laughs> now look your best. Try to make a good impression. This could be your lucky day. <laughs> Three wise men to see you, sire. Ah, call me.
always meant to return. And if they don't, they'll have every boy in Bethlehem killed by the sword. No, my glorious heaven, no one's going to take your throne away. You're gorgeous. <laughs> Why don't they keep it all for themselves? 
on the sound coil of angels who told us about the new king. You are very welcome, shepherds. We'll be as quiet as you can.
say thanks once again. Number 994 GS63. 
9-9-4. Someone over here that brought one off me, I think. One of the big books at the end. 994. 994. Can't give them away tonight. 994, Mr. Zaretta. Yes, thank you. And again, please, Mr. Nolan. Two more to pick, please. A box of shortbread biscuits.